Hey guys, in this next set of videos, we're going to cover how to do image searching with threading. So as far as I can think of, there's two ways we can do this. The first way is we have this square which is going to represent our computer screen or our search area and we're going to call this chord A or section A. We've only got one section, section A, and in section A we're going to have five different threads, each one looking for a different picture. If thread one finds the picture, it's going to do what it wants to do. If thread two finds a picture, it'll do what it needs to do. However, all of these threads are searching the entire screen. The other way I can think of is splitting your desktop screen into four different coordinates. So as opposed to having just one chord A, we've got chord A, B, C, and D. What I find unique about this method is it reduces the search size, so it's gonna go faster. Also, you wouldn't use this method to search for the same image because why would you use five different threads to search the same area for the same image? It's going to be basically the same process. But with this method, it's going to be a faster version searching for the same image four times as fast, theoretically. Well, at the same time, you could search for a different image in each one of these coordinates. So essentially, this method right here is searching your entire desktop four times as fast. If you wanted to, you could even combine these methods. Searching for one image on this background chord, and then searching for four different images in these chords, while still searching for one here. So then this A would be thread 1, this A would be thread 2, B would be thread 3, and so on. If you wanted to, you could split your desktop into even more coordinates, but we're not going to do that. In this series, we're just going to cover how to split it into four different coordinates and how to do image searching within each of those coordinates. We'll also cover how to send and receive messages so we can prioritize what happens first. For example, if we discover a picture in our coordinate A, that requires us to use the mouse? What happens if we discover another picture in coordinate C that also requires us to use the mouse? We'll figure out how we can prioritize it so A can finish its work before C starts it. All right guys, that's the video. We're not gonna be covering how to do threading or how to do the image search. We've already covered those in different videos, so this is just gonna be how to combine them together. Thanks for watching, see you next time.